So when you need potting soil or worm castings or earthworms, feed the fish or the chickens or to catch fish. Chickens love it. Just reach down into these channels alongside the driveway. All the leaves flow into there and then the earthworms thrive. So you just scoop out basically the worm castings on the bottom and then put it into a big pile on a piece of plywood and the chickens will eat the worms out of them and then you've got your potting soil left over. Alright and here is the swing which is also a predatory bird simulation device. Alright, here's the settling pond again, and we have uh, gray water right there from laundry, and then, oops, a little too fast, there's gray water right there from the shower entering into the system. And the settling pond right here is on the south side of the house. In the winter time, it reflects the sunlight into the house. I'll show you all. I just finished the inside of that room. I'll show you. Okay, so here's the inside. The passive solar room. Um, I'll show you all some of the details. Here's made of bamboo vent. That's the earth plaster on the bottom. And then I just did beadboard paneling. The granite there I got recycled. took out that wall there so I had access of the light and heat into the kitchen. And then the trim there was just uh, the old uh, lap boards on the side of the house. Bamboo I harvested from the neighborhood. Bamboo rail harvested from the neighborhood. And then these stairs I made out of the old beams that used to be in this room. I ended up recycling them and it's the heart pine. Looks really nice, I think. The bamboo in between. All right, here's the kitchen. I got this kitchen um, used off of Craigslist. And there's the view out into the garden. All right, here's the front yard, the muley grass. I planted some more. Captures the water that comes off the sidewalk. Turn that into a little mini swale. Pomegranates there. Got killed almost back to the ground this winter. We got, we got a really cold winter. Asparagus would look better if I cut it back. In June. Pineapple guavas are starting to come to life. Alright, more of the front yard. There's the swale the gray water goes into. Another pocket of gray water. Pomegranate or Jerusalem artichokes. Fig in the background getting bigger. Planted uh, some sugar cane. Azuratum and blueberries with uh, bushy blue stem, I believe. Magnolia vine. 625 gallon tank, which is really just a drop in the bucket. Here's one piece of the branch drain gray water system. Upside down flower pot. Hole cut in the top. The gray water falls into there. Bamboo bike rack. And 